In this video, I'm going to share with you a very simple little pressure that you can utilize to guarantee pressure against the Gun Bunch meta offense. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to encourage you to click the subscribe button below. It's completely free to subscribe to this channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date whenever we release new videos, which we release new videos every single day, two or three times a day. Now, that being said, guys, we're talking about the nickel 245 odd. And I believe that the nickel 245 odd is one of the better defenses uh, in the entire game, not only because um, you're able to get really good pressure, but it also has some really good coverages like cover four drop uh, and cover six that you don't exactly find in every formation in this game. So uh, that being said, guys, we're going to jump into this video. We're going to break down a little sample play out of our 245 odd defense. And if you want to learn the rest of my 245 odd defense, I have a full ebook on it over at my Patreon website. So if you want to join the Patreon, it's just $10 a month and you can cancel whenever you'd like. But it allows you, uh, by joining the Patreon, it allows you to get access to every ebook that I've already released and every ebook that I will release in the future. And we've already released 12 ebooks this year, eight on defense. We've actually covered every defensive formation pretty much from the Chicago Bears playbook. So if you want to if you want to really do a deep dive on Chicago, uh, we've got eight defensive guides over there for you. We've also got some other defenses as well that aren't in the Chicago playbook. So again, guys, if you want to get access to all of that content, we've got four offensive ebooks, eight defensive ebooks, and you can get access to all of them for just $10 a month. And again, you can go ahead and cancel that whenever you would like. So uh, without further ado, we're going to jump into the 245 odd Sam Mike 3 Press, show why it's so good and why it's so valuable, uh, specifically against people who like to uh, max protect from bunch or block their running back. So uh, with the latest patch, uh, what has happened is with the latest patch, uh, Madden has basically made it so that blocking uh, or, or delay fading your tight end is not a very uh, good strategy uh, to be able to block pressure. So, uh, for example, if I were to run the Mike Blitz 3 meta, uh, what you would see here is if I block my tight end, I'll be able to pick up pretty much any kind of pressure that's going to come my way out of this uh, formation. And then if I were to go to 245 odd, and I just want to show you one simple little pressure concept here, um, and that is the, we're going to try to sh recreate the pinch two. So you see here, this kind of pretty much what pinch two looks like. Um, let me go ahead and just re-blitz that guy there. So you see, this is pretty much what pinch two looks like. And if I were to do something like, um, you know, something like this, this is a little bit more of an accurate representation of what the defense really comes down to. So uh, what's going to happen is, is um, if they if they block, you'll see here we'll get some kind of uh, some kind of pressure, right? Typically, uh, the best way to pick up the pinch two blitz, uh, in, at least in my opinion, I think in a lot of people's opinion as well, uh, the best way to pick up the pinch two blitz is to go ahead and to simply block your uh, running back. So you'll see here I'm going to set up the pressure again, and I'm going to block my running back. And what you'll see here is for the most part. Uh, the pressure gets taken care of, and I can now make a read and throw the ball. So um, this is kind of how most people like to pick up the dollar uh, three two six meta as well. And again, those are all really good uh, ways to pick up pressure and deal with it. The beauty of the video that I'm going to show you today is this is going to guarantee pressure whether they block their running back, whether they block their tight end. It really doesn't matter. You're going to get some pressure, okay? So how is this How is this defense going to work specifically? What we're going to do is we are going to – I like to baseline and press out of this, but you don't have to. I just like to because it helps make every play look the same. And then we're going to spread our linebackers, and we're going to crash our defensive line to the right. So you see here this is – what the blitz looks like. So fairly simple setup. You can go ahead and shade coverage down if you want to. Um, and what you're going to see here is we should get pressure off of this left edge. As you can see, we get really fast pressure off the left edge. Now, if I were to block my tight end, uh, I just want to show you what that looks like. So here I'm going to block my tight end. Again, I like to stand kind of right here with my user and then just kind of come down and around. And as you can see, if uh, they block their tight end, your pressure is still going to be able to come in. So what's really cool about this is now what you can do is you can say, you know what, I know they have to, I know, I know what they have to do to stop this. Really, no way to stop this pressure. So because there's no way to stop this, I'm going to be able to pretty much guarantee my pressure against bunch. And you know, I can go with hard flats and take away a quick read, 
and they throw right at my guy and you know and you got an opportunity to get a turnover now the other way and the other main tactic that they're going to use to try to block this is they're going to block this very similar uh, to how they will try to block pinch two, which is they're going to block uh, their running back. So what you'll see here, though, is that when they block the running back, he actually is going to essentially get dumbed out by the linebacker that's coming through the B gap, and the guy that's coming off the edge is going to come in completely free. So I'll show this to you again. Um, I'm going to block the running back and the snap of the ball. What you're going to see is he's going to come completely clean at the quarterback for instant pressure. So the beauty of this is you're basically going to guarantee that you're going to be able to pretty much guarantee yourself uh, some pressure. Now, what's also cool is that in the th two, four, five odd, this guy right here uh, can be a middle linebacker. So you could put Isaiah Simmons there or Ted Hendricks uh, with Lurker or something right there. So you could put him in pass coverage. And now this is why I really like this because we can essentially Mabel the bunch side and then we could run, you know, some kind of cover two concept or whatever we want to run on the back side of this and have, you know, really, really good coverage. And there's really nothing that they can do uh, to be able to pick up this pressure. You're going to really have um, pretty simple pressure that's actually very effective. And so uh, this is just one of the defenses that I like to use against the gun bunch, especially whenever I'm running uh, this pinch or not this pinch two, but this two, four, five odd defense. And the reason why is because it really does a good job um, and here you're gonna see this is a max protect and as you can see there it did get picked up right at the end there but for the most part this is gonna come in very consistently um, against a max protect bunch which is really powerful I mean you're you're gonna really put them in a position where they're gonna have to throw the ball quickly and they're gonna have to deal with the the result of that so uh, guys if you want to learn the rest of the two four five odd defense it truly is you know, I think the best defense in the game. So if you want to get access to that again, it's on sale. Um, I would, I would encourage you to join my Patreon because by joining the Patreon, uh, it's just 10 bucks a month and you'll get access to not only the two, four, five odd, but you'll get access to eight defensive eBooks instantly four offensive eBooks instantly. And then you also get access to updates as they come out for all those eBooks as well as every uh, new guide that I release. And we've got a couple new defenses that I'm working on under the hood as well. So uh, if you want to get access to all of that stuff, be sure to join the Patreon. It's just 10 bucks a month. You can cancel it at any time. If you're watching this and you just want the, uh, if you're watching this and you just want the two, four, five odd guide, there is a link in the description below where you can get just that guide as well. But I would really encourage you to join the Patreon for just 10 bucks. You get everything. And I think it's really, really a good deal. So thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you guys over at the Patreon.